Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Sorry for getting this video out so late. I've been busy all day. But today I'm going to be telling you guys everything you need to know about Prime players. So, yeah. So, if you guys didn't know and yet, if you haven't played yet. Here, let me just open these real quick. Because why not? Cash. Let's go. Cash, please. I'll take XP. And more than one. Nah, I've never gotten more than one. <laughs> but anyway, so in the boxes, they've introduced these... um. Prime XP and Prime players, as you can see, if I go down, John Carlos standing. It'd be really cool if I can get him. I mean, my luck's been horrible this weekend, as you can see. 11 out of 12 in that counter, and I've also had to go all the way to the counter for the Cali Kings box, and I've gotten nothing. But besides that, yeah, so Primes are now out. That John Carlos stand. So the first thing you guys need to know about Primes, if you don't already know, is that their overalls are higher than the regular players' overalls. As you can see, John Carlos Stanton's overall is 380, and then Travis Darnell's overall is 350. So their overalls are a lot better, but the main part I'm going to be stressing this video is that comes at a cost. So if I go over to Prime XP, as you can see, I've been playing CVC. Not as hard as I would like to be because I've been very busy this weekend because my life's starting to get back in order, but besides that, I've been, I've been busy, so... Yeah, but I've gotten most of this Prime XP from playing CVC. And what you'll notice about Prime XP is that it's harder to get. And I don't have a Prime, so I can't show you uh, leveling players up. But Prime XP is harder to get. And uh, you need more of it to level up Prime players. And also, when you're leveling up Prime players, again, I don't have a Prime player, so I can't show you this. Uh, it costs more gold, I believe, to evolve them, unless they change that. I, I'm just basing this off of last year, which is pretty similar to use this year so far, so yeah. And if you guys are spending your Prime XP, here's what you're going to want to do. You want to conserve it really well. And so don't spend Prime XP on skills. I think it's a waste personally, unless you're a big spender, which I'm not. And you really want to conserve that Prime XP because this is what's probably going to happen to you. And this is what happened to me. So what happened to me was last year... I wasn't pulling any primes. I got to like around 100,000 prime XP. And then the day finally came where I pulled a prime and I was super excited and I dumped it all to level that player up to max. And then a couple days later, I pulled like just a ton more primes. Like, trust me, you guys probably won't pull primes now unless you're a big spender. But if you waste all your prime XP on one player, then you're gonna have none and then you're not gonna be able to level your players. So. What I recommend is, I, I'm just assuming this is how it's going to go, so don't take this like 100%, but I assume that the highest overall they're going to have in a week to a month is going to be 400, and they had it for a while, and honestly, like, the period where Primes were the best players in the game, that was the funnest time in the game, personally, for me last year, it was just so fun, like, once Legends come out, like, it's cool at first, but then you know that nothing better is going to be coming out, so that's when I stopped playing. But anyway, so yeah, Primes are the best, and once there's 400, I say you can dump your Prime XP into those to max them. But for now, for like the 380s, let me go back to Stanton. For the 380s, I wouldn't level them up all the way unless you're like me and you're only in silver tier. But once you're in gold tier, I'd only take them to like gold 5 or something. But yeah, and... Yeah, so that's basically all you need to know about Primes. They're really cool, but you need to budget your Prime XP. It's basically what I'm trying to say here. And don't be like me, where last year I literally had to be buying these Prime Improved boxes instead of regular, instead of buying uh, like weekend boxes and weekday boxes, I had to be buying these Prime XP Improved boxes because I had no Prime XP and I wanted to get my players maxed. So yeah. Don't run into me how like I was last year. Conserve that XP. And sorry for rushing through this video. I'm just trying to get it out to you guys. Hope you guys understand. So that'll do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't already, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out a lot. Take care and have a great day.